the hunt is on in the Philippines. Drug dealers, addicts, but also innocent citizens. Thousands of people have been killed since firebrand President Rodrigo Duterte started his uncompromising war on drugs when he took office at the end of June. Duterte keeps shocking the world with fresh calls to kill even more. And he doesn't shy away from drastic comparisons. Hitler massacred three million Jews. Now, there is three million, there is a three million drug addict. There are. I'd be happy to slaughter him. On the other hand, his policies have led some 700,000 drug users to surrender to the authorities. Many are now overcrowding prisons and rehabilitation facilities, afraid for their lives. But Duterte is also making waves on the diplomatic front. He hurls frequent insults, be it against the UN, the EU, or the United States. He had this to say about President Barack Obama before a regional summit in September. You must be respectful. Don't just throw away questions and statements. Of greater concern, especially to the U.S., is the proclamation of what the Philippine president calls an independent foreign policy. Duterte wants to rely less on the U.S., in part because of Western criticism of his war on drugs. Eventually, I might, in my, term, in my time, I will break up with America. I would rather go to Russia and to China. At least, uh, even if uh, we do not agree with the ideology, we have respect for the people. Duterte hopes to come to terms with Beijing on the issue of the South China Sea. China claims most of it as part of its own territory, a claim hotly contested by the Philippines as well as its neighbors. On the domestic front, it's not only the war on drugs he's put his focus on. Duterte has rekindled peace talks with Maoist rebels in the south of the country. Many hope Duterte can finally accomplish what five presidents before him failed to achieve, end Asia's longest-running communist insurgency.